Uh, let me pull the pistol out. Oh, thank you for the meta jail. Inside the ventilation shaft, Shep. It's hot in here, but it's clear. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Perfect. Yeah, the problem with the vents, as we will see, is the temperature rises rapidly. They've seen us. Gear is here. We're taking heavy fire, but we're moving forward. Uh, Under fire. Where are they? Shepard. Oh, I was hoping to knock him off. <laughs> I'll probably include this all this fight, maybe. Maybe I should keep talking because I, I don't usually, but. Okay. Where are we at? There's really nothing to pick up. I'm Something trying to. Blocking the pipe. Gotta find a way through that gate up ahead. There is a valve by the ventilation shaft. That will likely clear the obstruction. You can actually. There she is. Yep. You can see her in the vents. Oh no. I actually didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Is it not gonna come on. So the specialist we have we have like a little thing of jig. So I don't want to get, I don't want to like this release it too soon power. and have her get too far ahead of me. What? Oh, I was like, where's that noise coming from? Focus on Shepard. There's too many. Why are there so many? Like so many vents. Uh, I mean, we are far too late. Also, like this seems very unsanitary. I think they would. I don't know. Not just keep people laying around. Dead bodies. somebody. I forgot to. I thought I had cut off the video. Turns out I didn't. So this is. Uh, I don't. I'm just restarted the recording as part two, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work out for you guys. But ah, 
I, I messed up. <laughs> Not like super bad, just a little. In the butt. I can't aim. That's right. I can't aim, so I'm supposed to be using a mouse and keyboard for this. Oh no. I don't need attitude. Oh. oh, that was too soon. Seeker swarm. We're in position. We need this door open now. Go. We'll cover you. Something's wrong. I can't get the door open. Woo! Got it. Here they come. Fall back. Suppressing fire. Don't let anyone through that door. Yeah. Look at that leader. Look at that leader man experience. Good job, Kasumi. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. Oh no, this is, oh, this is a bad part. Oh, avert your eyes if you're squeamish, like legit. It's not gonna be good. I'm sorry, everyone. My ineptitude has led us to this. Yeoman Chambers. Is she dead? There's more. Over here. God. She's still alive. Kinda. No one gets left behind. What about the others? Do you know where they are? They're gone. All of them. I'm the only one left. I watched them die. They were processed. Rendered down into some kind of raw genetic paste and pumped through these tubes. <laughs> It's honestly super disturbing. We basically just watched them, at least some of it, the like Yeoman Chambers get melted. Oh my gosh, she got like, she basically died alive in like an acid pool and was like melting. It's, it's actually really horrifying and I really hate it a lot. This is why I was almost willing to go back the like three or four hours it would take because this is, what a horrible way to die. Like what a legitimately horrible way to die. These other people that are around are some of the colonists that are somehow still alive. It is also super unfair, because it's like, we just got here, 
And like, even though it's been such a long time, they're like, nope, you still have to watch Yeoman Chambers, like freaking get melted down. It's horrifying, horrifying. This is why you don't get Legion too early, <laughs> because if you come here in time, I think you'll start to see it happen. And you can kind of, you can see like where the acids, like, because they were being broken down, I think a bit slower. And this was like a much, they, they rushed the process when, when I get here, right? Like, I think they were, they were kind of knocked out potentially and like being slowly like acidified, but they made it go much faster with her. But, but yeah, if you get here in time, you can save everybody. Um, everybody's alive. You'll see what starts to happen. There, there might be like one person who goes through it, but it's not Chambers. I don't know, but you do save you do save everybody. So, I, unfortunately, because I took too long, it, most everybody died. But Chalk was as impervious to harm, so she lives. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? Does it matter? If you'd gotten here sooner, you could have saved them. We needed time to prepare. We had no other choice. I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean to blame you. I just had to watch them as they died. I know you did the best you could. You saved my life. Thank you. We need to keep moving, Commander. Figure out what to do next. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. The route is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? I think Jack is kind of the strongest, technically. Um, at least in, uh, like, cinematic terms. <laughs> but, uh, Samara also has, you know, she's a matriarch, or she could be a matriarch. So, I, uh, I think I've gone with both Jack and Samara, but for this one I'll go with Samara. Samara and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Garrus! I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. What about me, Shepard? I'm in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. I think... Ooh, would, is, is Morden a good one on this one? Yes, I think Morden is actually good on this one. Because um, it doesn't matter. Let's see, sorry, it might be a little weird. Um, is the escort loyal? Yes. Escort and crew survive. Is the escort not ever does, you know? Do you send a party member? Oh, that's right. Yeah, if you that's yeah. Okay, you could just not and everybody dies. That's that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, I think I started using Morden um not only to keep him safe because he is the one that is liable to die under other circumstances, but also it makes the most sense because Morden is a doctor. So, he can get like he's and he's also like he's obviously as like a Shoot, what is the name of the, like, spe Solarian Special Forces? Former Solarian Special Forces. He knows what he's doing in a fight. Um, and he's also, he's a doctor, so he can help people. Chagwas is in no shape to be helping people, so. I think I've started moving towards having Morden take them. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Okay, which means he's no longer, he's out for the rest of the mission. That means he's safe, too. So that's nice. I like the snipers. Look at this. Legion, Zaid, and Thane are the ones that I'm like, I want to take you guys out, but they're all snipers. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna, I gotta keep Zaid with the secondary squad with and with Grunt. Uh, yeah, 
We should be good. Ah, oh, we did level up. Stay close, Commander. At least uh, I did. I don't know if anybody else did. Renegade? What? What did I get Renegade for? Damn. The swarms are interfering with radio contact. Oh, I was gonna like... You ready for this? I was gonna do an experiment in like... I, I've done it before, but I can't remember exactly what happens if you can take some damage or not. Are you good? Let's go, Commander. I trust Samara with my life. Jack, I'd be is a little more volatile, I think. Samara's definitely got the consistency. Incoming. We are hard. We've been spotted. Uh, uh, pistol should still be fine. On my way. Spooky. To move up, Commander. Yeah, there's no way she could. Ready to move, Commander. There's no way she. Oh, jeez. She can fight while trying to do this at the same time. But then again, like that's like game-wise, like in in like cinematic terms, which is how I like consider their power Not levels engaged. when they're uh, like you know, like Jack cinematically like tore through a whole ship by her, like by herself essentially, you know, and like. Samara's a freaking matriarch, and they can do biotics can do incredible things. Hostiles, but I feel like they should be able to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, not these guys. They should be able to do some pretty wild things, you know. Where's my? There it is. I mean, apparently this is wild enough, but to for them to be able to do this. Target eliminated. <gasps> I'm out of ammo. Oh no. SMG time. Taking cover. Let me know when you're ready to move. This is what you Oh no, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair. Oh my gosh, I just yeeted myself up over the Oh. What? You wanna you wanna freaking You wanna you wanna put me in the sludge or do you wanna take over my form? I don't think you can do that. Go. Maybe I'm pushing the realm of like the science fiction boundary that exists in Mass Effect, but I feel like they should be able to like tear things apart. 
Especially because she's a sorry. And hold up a barrier at the same time, but there are limits to biotics. It's not it's not a you know catch all. It's not the force. Which even then the force has limitations. So To be fair, this would be incredibly difficult. Until you're ready to move out. Absolutely not! No! No, 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 no! Go away! How did you do that through the wall? Oh, no. No, ow! I can't remember melee. I can't remember melee. With a mouse and keyboard. What was it? Oh, okay. Perfect. Oh my gosh, we're being overrun. Things. Actually, I will use the pistol. Do any of you have ammo? Oh yeah, move out. We're good. Oh, I can't go backwards. No. Okay, here we go. So, and I meant to look. I should have looked over time. She does actually slow down as we go, and at first she starts out using one hand, but as as time goes on. She slowly has to use both hands as she starts to bow over. It happens with all of them. Ah! Keep your nasty husk hands away from me. I will hold on as long as I can. You know, really, what we should have done is brought two biotics. Should have had Jack here also, and then Jack could take over the shield when Samara was done. I can see the entrance. Down there! Need to get there soon. Time to go! Why? <laughs> She also is dependent entirely on us for like cover fire. She can't shoot. This is not like a barrier shield All right, let's move. that can keep bullets out. So that's gotta be rough, right? Keep it up, hurry, She's such a baddie! <laughs> Look at her, she's cool! We're doing great, squad. Come on, Shepard, where are you? A copy, what's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. Oh no! We're coming, just hold on! Get this door open! Come on! Steal the door! Karras! He's good. He could come collapsing Joker, are you at the rendezvous through that point? door, I'm, I'm pretty here, sure. Commander. Dr. Sharkos just showed up. Morton's group just arrived, Shepard. No casualties. Morton alive. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massing just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. What a wild design they have. Um, I'm pretty sure we have to have somebody holding the door. 
This is the... Let's see. This is the whole DeLine situation. But each one of these has their own... Yeah, 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 yeah. Whew. More than safe. If I leave Jack, see me. If I leave Grunt, Zaid, and Garrus, they should be fine. And I would take Thane and Legion with me. To be fair, I don't really need Legion because I don't... Everything we're going to be fighting is, like, organic. So a part of me is thinking I might just bring Samara, Thane and Samara with me again. Like, my old squad that I like to take with me. Yeah, let's try that. We'll see how that goes. I will come back and redo this. I The first time I didn't redo it because I was like, hey, sometimes it's interesting to see how the game will play out. You know, if you deal with certain decisions that may make that may be sad or like upsetting or less than ideal or whatever. So I let it play out and it was actually really interesting the way my Mass Effect 3 worked out because Morden was gone. But this time I don't, I've, I've already lost the crew to like the melting pot. I don't want to lose anybody else to that. So I will redo it if something goes wrong, but. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. I will take, I could take Saeed. Like bringing Saeed, no, I will bring. You and I'll bring you. Oh, can I not level? I feel like, dang it, maybe I can't level Samara up. Dang it. Oh well. She should be pretty good. I'm ready, Commander. As am I. Anything to say before we do this? Ooh, buddy, here we go. The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything, everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Heck yeah! We'll do our best. Heck yeah! Good luck, Shepard. Let's go, team. The OG squad. Gotta love it. Enemies in combat. Yeah, oh, it's such a spooky place. I'm actually gonna go ahead and call this one here. This is just, this mode is just like a constant gauntlet. There's very few places to like pause it properly, but I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. Thank you all so much for watching me on this very stressful and also adrenaline pumping suicide mission. <laughs> this music is dope. I love it. Uh, so thank you guys again for watching. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Ms. Kalito, my staff and tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Christopher, thank you so much for your support. I hope you're enjoying this suicide mission uh, ending of Mass Effect 2. I know this is your, I'm pretty sure this is your first time um, seeing the game, so I hope you're enjoying it. And Adam, I'm pretty sure you've played it before, so, but either way, I hope you're enjoying it as well. Again, thank you both for your support. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see everybody in the next one.